Hey everybody, this is Alex from Kubler. I wanted to give you a quick overview of Kubler and some of its features today. We're also working on feature-specific demo deep dives, so look out for those videos coming soon. Real quick, for those of you that aren't familiar with Kubler yet, Kubler is an enterprise-grade Kubernetes platform with all that you need to run Kubernetes in production. It automates and centralizes deployment and management of multiple clusters on AWS, Azure, GCP, private cloud, and on-prem, providing all necessary operational capabilities and making it real easy for ops to adopt containerized applications. Security is a key concern for any organization, so we made sure that whenever you run Kubernetes, Kubernetes, it checks all major checkboxes your security team will ask for out of the box. All right, let's take a look. Through the Kubler UI, you can manage all your clusters in different environments and see their health at a glance. This is particularly helpful for ops teams running clusters in multiple clouds and on-premise who want to monitor the health from a single control plane. With integrated role-based access control, you'll ensure that users only see clusters based on their role and permissions. I can get a full overview of my deployed cluster right here. The status tab gives me details on the current state of the Kubernetes components, as well as features installed by Kubler. In the events tab, I can see all events of the cluster, as well as some important events from the underlying infrastructure. And under applications, I can see system applications installed on this cluster. Going back to the overview tab, I can see all the nodes, their status and resource consumption. There are also links to the Kubernetes dashboard for the cluster, the kubeconfig file, the Kubernetes API URL, and a listing of the primary configuration parameters. Creating a cluster is straightforward. I select the provider I want to use, AWS or Microsoft Azure, or the Google Cloud Platform, or I can deploy on top of virtual machines or on bare metal. All main cluster configuration parameters are available through the UI, like the number of master nodes, regions, availability zones, auto scaling, spot instance integration, network and security, as well as cloud specific parameters. Down here, you can specify various parameters for log collection, monitoring, and ingress. Under the hood, Kubler implements best practices to reserve resources for Kubernetes and OS components. It configures Kubernetes for security, reliability, and availability, and sets up an overlay network. Setting up a cluster through the UI is pretty straightforward and will work for the vast majority of your use cases. But as you expand your Kubernetes deployments and get into more advanced use cases, you'll have very specific requirements that manage Kubernetes services and even the default Kubler configuration don't meet. In this case, your Kubernetes expert can open custom cluster specifications and override some of the automatically selected configuration parameters. They can access and edit the YAML with a specification generated by Kubler right here. Kubler will then save and use these new parameters for the deployment. Kubler also provides an API that enables automation and programmatic interaction for advanced use cases. Once my cluster is up and running, I can use the UI to manage my cluster and issue updates. Let's check some of Kubler's operational capabilities now. We'll start with centralized monitoring, a capability most platforms don't offer. Kubler's centralized monitoring is built on top of Prometheus and Grafana. However, it can be easily extended to ship metrics to your enterprise monitoring system. Ops teams can access dashboards of all clusters from the same centralized Grafana instance. Kubler comes with a number of out-of-the-box dashboards that display all key cluster and cluster component metrics. For example, the Kubernetes memory usage dashboard shows us memory usage by containers, instances, and Kubernetes components in different Kubernetes clusters. There are also dashboards for CPU, disk, network usage, and more. All dashboards show information of the overall infrastructure, a specific cluster, or if applicable, a specific node and components. All metrics for my applications, such as resource allocations, uptime, response time, among others, will appear here automatically, without the need for additional configuration. Let's go to Prometheus. Alerts for the most important or potentially dangerous events for my clusters are also pre-configured. The only thing I have to determine is how these alerts will be delivered to my operations teams, email, text, Slack, or all of the above. The same applies to centralized logging. All the data is collected in an Elasticsearch repository. Ops teams access the data without switching between different clusters. Out-of-the-box dashboards allows for rapid identification of potential issues and analysis of data across all clusters, a specific cluster, or specific components. 
And just as with monitoring, centralized logging will pick up your application's logs automatically without the need for further configuration and make them available to ops and DevOps teams in one centralized location. All right, just a few more things before we wrap up. Kubler embeds an identity broker that allows you to connect your enterprise identity management system to your clusters and centrally manage accounts, roles, permissions for your Kubernetes clusters and applications. And finally, Kubler provides its own role-based access control capabilities. In the UI, you can see the Spaces tab. Authorized users are able to create their own spaces where they can deploy Kubernetes clusters and applications on top of these clusters. They can then share those out with their team members, enabling separation of duties by organization and role. Well, I hope this gives you an idea of what Kubler is and how your team can benefit from it. We'll review this and other features in more detail in our next videos. To see Kubler in action, download our demo and take it out for a spin. You can find the link right on kubler.com. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Alex from Kubler.